right, Krasinski's Island is an amusement park. The park is planning a TV ad campaign that will run 30 second, 30 second ads for the next 15 days on daytime show. The park will also run a 13 second ad for the next 10 days during a prime time show. Okay, so two different rates. A daytime show um, costs less to run an ad during than a prime time show because there's more people watching in prime time. So the 30 second ad in the daytime is 5,400. Well, how many of those ads are they going to run? They're going to run 15 daily ads during the daytime. So for the daily ads, daytime ads, we have 5,400 times 15 days. They're also running primetime ads, and it says a 30-second primetime ad is $134,000. They're going to do primetime for 10 days. So we have 134,000 times 10 days. Okay, we multiply that out. We get $1,340,000 for our primetime ads. For our daytime ads, again, that's 5,400 times 15, which is 81,000. Okay, so what's the total for the ad campaign? Well, we need to go ahead and, whoops, <laughs> add those two together. So we add our 81,000 and our 1,340,000. And we get a total of... $1,421,000 for this entire ad campaign. All right, so a magazine has 543,000 subscri subscribers. What is the cost per subscriber of an ad that costs $4,200? So they want to know what are you paying per person you're advertising to. Cost per subscriber. The word per means to divide. So we're going to take the dollar amount divided by the number of subscribers or people and that will give us our cost per subscriber. So look closely. Our cost was $4,200. We're going to divide that by the number of subscribers it says it was 543,000. Do that carefully. Make sure you put the 4,200 first, then push divide, then 543,000. Okay. When we do that, we get 0 0.007-7348, and it goes on from there. Okay. Well, this is in money. They want us to round to the nearest cent. So where are cents? Remember, cents are two places after the decimal. Right now we have zero cents. <laughs> but we round to the nearest cent, and so we look at the next number is a seven. That asks us it's bigger than five, so we round up to one. So the average cost per subscriber to advertise is one cent. Okay, here's another example. A periodical has 164,500 subscribers for an ad that costs $6,900. What is the cost per subscriber? So again, cost is dollar amounts, per is divided, and subscriber is the number of subscribers. So again, we take our cost, $6,900, divide by our subscribers, 164,500. When we divide, we get 0 0.041945, and it goes on from there. Okay, now again, they want to round us to the nearest cent, which is two places after the decimal. So we cut off here. Look at the next number so you know whether to round up or stay. One is smaller than five, so we just stay. And the cost per subscriber for this ad is four cents. All right, a peach sort decided to place flyer advertising its new delivery service on people's doors. 
the store spent $350 to print to distribute the flyers. Within the next month, 38 customers called the store as a result of receiving the flyers. What is the cost of the advertising campaign for each customer who called? Okay, so what we're trying to find here is the cost per customer who actually came in. So again, we're going to take our dollar amount, our cost, per means to divide, and here we're going to put the number of customers that called. Okay, so our cost to print and distribute the ads was $350. Divide that by how many customers came in as a result, 38. So we take 350 divided by 38 and we get 9.21, $9.21 for each customer that they brought in.